Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to show you how to very quickly get started with the AT Tiny 85. So to start with, what is the AT Tiny 85? Well it's basically a tiny Arduino. Um, it's not as powerful, uh, it has less pins, but it's still ideal, mainly because it's so small. You can still use SPI and lots of other things, but it has its limitations. One of the limitations is that it has limited serial capabilities. And basically, this little thing can transmit, but it can't receive in the usual way. And when you come in to flash them, it's completely different too. Nevertheless, um, they're definitely capable, and they're extremely good on energy, and um, they're so small. Look how tiny it is. A tiny little chip. Anyway, let's get started. How do we actually use it? What do we have to install, etc.? I'll show you now. Okay, so the first thing you'll need to do is open up Arduino, go to File and then Preferences, go to Additional Boards Manager URLs and paste in the link. I'll put the link in the description. But paste it in there, then click OK. Then go to Tools and then Board and then go to Boards Manager. I'll just wait for this to load up. And when it does, type in Digistump click on Digistump AVR Boards by Digistump version whatever then click install over there. Maybe you'll have to restart it but go back onto Arduino and go to board and go down through your boards and choose Digispark default 16.5 MHz. When you've done that go to programmer and then choose Micronucleus programmer. The next thing you'll need to do is go to a browser and just paste in the link. The link will be on the description of the video. So when you paste it in there, it'll start to download a file. So when you've got the file, click on it and then go to uh, Extract, Extract All, Extract, and then when it comes up, double click, and then if you've got a 64-bit computer, then run this as administrator. Then next and finish. You might have to press next, next, finished. I've already installed this, but anyway. So this is my very basic, uh, quick and easy, get up and running sketch. So the first thing I do is say pin mode 1 output, and that is because pin mode 1, uh, sorry, pin 1 is the internal LED which is on this little board. So basically, get pin 1, and we're using that as an output pin. Next, serial.begin. Now, as I mentioned before, uh, this is only transmit. You can only transmit, you can't receive, but that's okay in some uses. So anyway, in loop. Digital right, pin 1, high. In other words, set the LED on or high. Then wait for 500 milliseconds and then set the LED low or off. And then wait for another 500 milliseconds and then serial print line, I'm alive. So in other words, print to serial that. Okay, so now what I need to do is flash this thing. And um, it doesn't flash in the usual way. So, if you remember rightly, with the Arduino Pro Mini, you'd use an FTDI UART. And um, with the Arduino Uno and the Nano, there's a UART built into it. But the AT Tiny is different. Um, it's very different, actually. So, this is what we have to do to flash it. So, check all your settings are correct in tools. Just uh, double check uh, that you've got the program and the board correct. Then I usually press Control and U, which is the shortcut for upload. And you'll notice something very different happens. So down here it says plug in device now. So you'll notice that the, or oh, this one in particular, has got a USB uh, socket. So I'll just plug that directly into my PC. Now it's told me to. It's plugged in. And in a few seconds, it says, there, running 100% complete. Micronucleus done. Thank you. And now the um, the AT Tiny has been flashed. So I'll unplug it now. The issue is, um, what about serial? Because if I plug it back in, look at this. 
So I've plugged the AT Tiny in, and I open the serial console, and it says board is not available. Board is not available. So now what? There's no serial. So how do we get to serial? Basically, to get to serial, we need some sort of UART. So um, I'm going to show you how I do it now. So you can start to see why this is such a peculiar device now. We've just flashed it without a UART. And um, when we come to read serial, it just won't work. So anyway, this is what we've got to do. So I've got one of these things. It's an FTDI UART. And basically, I'm going to plug this in to start with. I've got my UART, and I'm just going to add some pins to this. So to start with, I've got VCC, which is the grey pin. So the grey pin... You can do this with any UART, by the way. It doesn't have to be this exact UART. So I'll put the red one on there. I'll put the blue one on ground, which is black. If I can get that thing in. There we go. And I need one more, which is the RX pin, which is blue. So, I've got my three pins connected. I'll just zoom out a little bit, actually. And now I need to connect it to this uh, little device here. And if you look over here, there's a pin labelled P2. Whoops. P2. You can see on here I've used, uh, I've soldered it to this little board to add headers because for me, um, my projects uh, use these more. I prefer the female type connectors. Anyway. So if I connect this to pin 2, uh, pin 0, 1, 2, pin 2 is the hardware uh, TX pin. So I'm going to connect the RX on the FTDI to pin 2. Then, of course, 5 volts to 5 volts and ground to ground. And it's as simple as that. Okay, so now it's connected, you can see that it's blinking. And if you remember rightly, we told it to stay on for 500 milliseconds, then off for 500 milliseconds, and also um, transmit some data. So I'm going to go over to the PC now, and you should see that the PC is receiving I'm Alive. Let's see. Okay, so I'm over to the PC, and I'll just press Control shift m to get the serial console, which uh, you can also get up this way, serial monitor, sorry. And you can see it's saying, I'm alive, I'm alive, I'm alive. And um, and that's all there is to it. So that's how to use the AT Tiny 85 in the most simple and quickest way I could possibly explain. So thank you for watching. And if you've not subscribed, please click subscribe. And um, thank you for watching.